Philadelphia early on Monday morning. He said he was shot and killed in Point Breeze neighborhood in the neighborhood of Breeze. According to the police, 39-year-old Kruger was shot seven times. The police did not arrest and no weapons were rescued. Jazz Brown heard the gunshots and screams of his neighbor Kruger out of the door early on Monday morning. Josh asked for help. And I called the police to make sure they were out for them. Said. Kruger has overcome homelessness and addiction work for five years in city government. To address the social media of Mayor Jim Kenney and serve as city's homeless services office. Communication director. According the website. He left the city government in 2021 to return journalism. Inquirer wrote for Philadelphia Weekly, City Paper and other publications. He was more than just one journalist he was just more than a community member. Many of us were the one who fought a big fight because we were very busy in our own homes. We wonder if someone will overthrow our doors and kill us as they killed him. And we're tired of it. Kenny said in a statement. Kruger's death shocked and upset. He said, Kruger, the public service spelling of our city and residents deeply cared about our city inhabitants. Our management was lucky to call him a colleague. And our prayers with everyone who knew him. On the website, Kruger described him as cat person who hated a car. Prefers to ride bike or ride the train. Philadelphia regional lawyer Larry Krasner said, Josh deserves to write the end of his personal story. He said, Josh Kruger has removed the most vulnerable and stamped people in our communities especially. People who live with addiction. Das LGBTQ Advisory Committee said Kruger never stopped fighting for Philadelphia's LGBTQ community. Many of us knew Josh Kruger as a comrade who never stopped defending queer Philadelphian. Who lives in the margins of society? Kruger's friends and neighbors were ruined. Society shock. Said. Stevens. I'm so sorry. I can't think straight. Step Stevens added. Kruger was there for Stevens. A transgender woman. After being attacked outside her house. Only the blocks in 2020 are far away. When I was a victim of hate crime. It was one of the first people who were neighbors and supporting them. Gentle words. I was afraid of my security at that time. The two shared a common bond both activists for the LGBTQ community. We admired each other. Because I was an activist on the front. But he used journalism as a kind of activism. He used journalism as a way to talk about social diseases that affect our most vulnerable communities and cared about the communities very in-depth.